Hi, this is Stock Investor Davis to walk through my current portfolio as of today, technical analysis only. Please like and subscribe. Here's the complete list of companies we'll look into. There are chapters below in the description if you want to skip ahead to a specific stock. As we review each company, I will give each a color-coded rating of green, blue, or red, indicating a stock where I either like the price, I'm okay with the price, or I don't like the price. Also, if you have a different opinion or question, let me know in the comments. Starting with AIR, $24. Since October, it has broken below its uptrend that began in July 2022. Support is seen near $24 and is consolidating around this price for nearly a month now. I like the price. Moving to AMD, $121. It broke upward out of its downtrend during November 2023 and now near the bottom of its marked uptrend noted since November 2022, possibly signaling an overcorrection. Also resistance is seen near $120. This price can be viewed as an inflection point where some may view it more positively as it is near the bottom of the uptrend signaling a buy. Alternatively, some may view it more conservatively as there is strong resistance near $120 signaling a sell. I'm viewing it more conservatively at this point, therefore I don't like the price. Next, Amazon, $147. It's continuing its uptrend that began in January 2023. It's near the middle of the uptrend but on the lower portion of it not much resistance is seen ahead other than the top of the range i like the price looking at apple 191 dollars since november 2023 it appears to have broken up out of its downtrend beginning in august 2023 support noted around 172 dollars and may run into resistance near 195 dollars i don't like the price Moving to ASML, $692. It appears to have broken upward out of its downtrend starting in June 2023. It likely found support around $576. Some resistance is seen around $667 and $746. I like the price. Shifting to Builder, $139. During November 2023, it has broken up out of the marked downtrend since August 2023 and back above its uptrend range marked since April 2020 in purple. I don't like the price. Next, Bitcoin, $38,800 is above the top of its current uptrend, which began in November 2022. The top of the uptrend range being $35,400. I don't like the price. Looking at DraftKings, $39. Its stock price is near the top of the uptrend range starting in January 2023 and likely found support near $27. The top of the uptrend is $39. The price is okay. Now on to Enphase, $106. This company has been in a downtrend since September 2022. Multiple times it appeared to find support and then continued lower most recently breaking through a support point of $116. It may have found support near 75. The next noted support point was 60 and still is. The price is okay. Next, Google, $131. It's near the bottom of its uptrend that began in January, 2023. I like the price. Switching to Intel, $43. It's currently maintaining its uptrend beginning in March 2023 and near the top of the range. $42 being the top of the uptrend range and resistance noted at $45. The price is okay. Next, JBL, $116. This stock has pulled back to within the two uptrend ranges we marked starting in March 2020 and an alternate uptrend beginning September 2022. The bottom of the uptrend range is $109 and $115 respectively. Another point of interest is $114, which is marked red as resistance, but may provide support here. I like the price. Moving to Laser, $2. It's currently maintaining a downtrend since December 2020 and near the bottom of the range. The price is okay. Next, Lynn. $411. It continues its uptrend that began in March 2016 
and currently near the top of the range, which is $406. The bottom of the range is $368. Because of the uptrend, I'm okay with the price. Shifting to Meta, $323. Its uptrend continues after starting in November 2022. Some support noticed at $317 and resistance at $343. The bottom of the uptrend is $318 and the top of the range is $375. I like the price. Next, Merck, $103. It appears to be trading sideways between $101 and $115 since November 2022, support being at $101, and slight resistance at $108. I like the price. Looking at Microsoft, $374. After breaking below the uptrend during September and October 2023, it's within its uptrend again, beginning in January 2023. It's near the bottom of the range, which is 370, and is near all-time highs. I like the price. Moving to Netflix, $465. It's continuing its uptrend starting in July 2022. After dipping below the range for the month of October 2023, the bottom of the uptrend range is 429 some resistance noted at 450 and the top of the uptrend is 512. The price is okay. Now with Nvidia, $467. It's currently dipping below its uptrend beginning in January 2023 and appears to have hit resistance near 483. The stock has been consolidating between 409 and 483 since June 2023. Because the price appears to have been rejected near 483, I don't like the price. Looking at Oust, $5. It appears to be consolidating between 3 and 6 since April 2023. Support being near $4 and resistance at $6. The price is okay. Next, QQQ, $389. It's currently on the bottom half of the uptrend range established October 2022. The bottom being $374. The top of the uptrend range is $419. The price is okay. Moving to Shopify, $73. It's maintaining its uptrend since October 2022. After dipping below the uptrend during September and October of 2023, the bottom of the range is $68 and the top is $79. The price is okay. Switching to Supermicro, $269. It's within the slight uptrend range noted beginning June 2023 and near the bottom of that range, which is 259, we note some decent resistance near 286. An alternate view is that since roughly August 2023, it has been consolidating between 236 and 286. The price is currently in between both of these viewpoints, therefore the price is okay. Tesla, $238. Since mid-October 2023, it has been below the marked uptrend beginning January 2023, the bottom of the uptrend being 257. Also, strong support is seen near 214. I like the price. Looking at TSM, $98. It appears to have broken its uptrend forming in November 2022. It likely found support at $85, and some resistance is noted near $93 and $104. Alternatively, this may have been an overcorrection. I like the price. Next, UNH, $547. It's consolidating between $454 and $541 since December 2021. We also marked a potential uptrend that began in July 2023. $509 is the bottom of the new uptrend if it holds up, and resistance is spotted near $541. Because it's near both the resistance point and the top of the uptrend range mentioned, I don't like the price. Lastly, VOO, $421. Since September 2023, it has been below its October 2022 uptrend. While this may be a correction in price, it's now near a resistance point of 420. I don't like the price. For watching, please like and subscribe.